Hi, I'm David Petrego, uh, Director of Projects at the Nautical Institute, and I'm here uh, chatting with our CEO, Captain John Lloyd. David, good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. John, the world is in an unprecedented situation, and we are a professional body of professional mariners, our members. How can we be part of the solution? David, I think at a time like this, um, giving availability of information and communicating with people is of critical importance. And I think there's a number of ways in which we can do that. Um, first of all, we have been testing our business resilience, and I'm really pleased that our Seaways magazine has been uh, printed on, on time for the April edition and has certainly left our distributors. But I do understand that um, getting the magazine to arrive, um, the journal to arrive on time on every doorstep might be particularly difficult now with the restrictions on air travel and even domestic delivery services. So it's important that we use our online media as well. And on our website, we've got a special section which is providing limited information, but information which we're very confident is accurate and up to date in terms of the, the impact of coronavirus um, and how ships can prepare themselves, information for ships masters and ships officers, as well as announcements from the IMO and other organizations such as the International Chamber of Shipping. So I think continued reference to that um, that library of resource that we've got there is very important. We've also got some personal tips on how to say stay safe and stay healthy and so on. So communication is very important uh, and that's one area in which the Nautical, Nautical Institute is helping. I'm also in contact with the the leading satellite communications companies um, and having discussions with them about how they can increase their coverage, uh, their offerings, if you like, to this uh, particularly difficult time when our mariners are stuck on board ships, many of them running over their contract and people are still working hard to find solutions for that. But it is particularly challenging uh, and it's important that people are able to contact their friends and family at home. So that's just a way in which we're making a contribution just now. Uh, th thank you, John. Um, I, I know, I mean, you, you and I, in addition to being staff, we're, we're proud members of the Nautical Institute. And I, I do realize that um, with our remote uh, working policy, I mean, you and I are now 65 miles apart. But I did get your CEO message uh, just a few hours ago, and it was appreciative as a member of the Nautical Institute. So thank you very much about that. Now, we've also seen that organizations like the IMO, uh, the International Chamber of Shipping, the ITF, are recommending to governments, challenging governments, to treat mariners as key workers, professional mariners as key workers on an international basis. How important is that? I think it's very important. Um, nearly every country will be making special provision for its key workers, and they may be um, people working in lorries or public transport, nursing staff, refuse clearers, and, and, and so on. So there's a whole range of professions which are really important to enable society to uh, continue to function. Um, and when we look at how the airline industry has been decimated, um, the communications, the supply lines, the, the cargoes that are being carried by, uh, by ships at sea, by the professional mariners are absolutely critical importance to have any sort of semblance of sustainability through this very difficult period. And the people who are delivering that service are, are the mariners, the, uh, the professional merchant mariners um, who are working day in, day out, delivering absolutely vital cargoes, whether they're medical supplies, food supplies, or whatever it might be, they're absolutely vital to our uh, communities now more than ever. Um, and of course, once you're identified as a key worker, then many countries are making special provisions. Um, it might be um, additional care for um, the children or special provisions for access to uh, services and so on. So it's really important that we've sent that message that mariners are key workers. The Merchant Navy is working round the clock. You can see on the plots of ships that are active, it's every single day, most of the fleet is active uh, right now, delivering essential services around the globe. Thank you, John. Now, one of our core activities, obviously, as a, uh, a professional body, is helping our members with their own personal professional development. Um, and that can never be more important than in a time of trouble as we have now, 
um, employment may be tight, uh, opportunities have to be explored, and therefore, from an individual basis, our members really need to keep themselves up to date and uh, with, with everything that's happening in shipping, not just about the virus, but the technology, the regulations, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I, I know that we have quite a few resources that are available to our members, and you've kindly made some of those resources even available to non-members. Can you explain a little bit about how a member or even a non-member might be able to access some of our professional information? So uh, through our website, www.nauticalinstitute.com. Um, Not inst org. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's try that again. Um, <laughs> through our website, uh, nauticalinstitute.org, uh, we've got a whole range of resources there, many of which are open to members and to non-members. And one of the initiatives we took very recently was to release publicly all the back issues of the Seaways Journal, our professional journal, uh, from 2018. And each one of those journals has got interesting articles that are relevant to those in control of ships. And we just wanted to broaden the capture as a gesture of goodwill and support right now um, to, to the whole maritime community. And I hope people will make wide use of that. We also have for sale um, a, a range of technical books um, published by the Nautical Institute, and they're available through through the links on our website to the shop. And and our members, those people who've um, invested in their career, demonstrated their commitment to professionalism, well, they get one or two extra uh, benefits as well. Uh, for example, they they can get a thirty, they will get a thirty percent discount on any books they purchase. Uh, but in addition to that, we have a very special relationship with one of the leading providers for um, online learning, and that's a company called Videotel. Um, and each one of our members uh, can access the full uh, range of the standard courses from video tell free of charge taking one course per year to uh, further their professional development but also learn a little bit more um, about what video tell can offer and between us we, we've created this fantastic portal this fantastic resource for continuing professional development and i think as we enter what will inevitably be a more and more competitive job market it's really important that people can differentiate themselves such as by uh, membership of uh, organizations such as the Nautical Institute, um, but also showing that they're investing in their own learning and their own personal development. Thanks, John. Um, I know we're, we're going to try to keep this message uh, short. Uh, there will be others. Um, uh, the, the main message is that the Nautical Institute, uh, the lamps are still lit. Uh, we're working on behalf of our members, working to support the shipping industry, uh, and we will communicate the best we can with all of our tools uh, in, 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 in the near future. Um, so if you need any information or if you would like to contact us, please visit our website. That's www.nautinst.org and all the information on how to communicate with us will be there. So from John, Captain Lloyd and myself, we just want to wish you all very safe voyages and keep in touch. We will. Thank you. Thanks, David. Bye-bye.